Hey, Michael with XForce PC. Seen a lot of people complaining lately about not being able to get their Logitech radio switch or multi panel working in X Plane 12. And we have a radio panel here for um, our example. And the reason for that is the Logitech installer downloaded from Logitech's website is not X Plane 12 aware. It was written before X Plane 12 existed, but it if you can get it installed, it does work with X-Plane 12. So in my X-Plane 11 folder here, let's take a look at that. X-Plane 11 in Resources of Plugins, which is where the plugin goes, there is no plugin for the Logitech panels. Now I'm going to run the installer, which I've got here conveniently located on the desktop. And I've got this magnified just to make it bigger. And then boom, that quickly we've got the the uh, plugin in our X-Plane 11 resources plugins folder, but it is not in X-Plane 12. And that is because, uh, again, it is not X-Plane 12 aware. So what can we do uh, about getting our plugin into X-Plane 12? Well, if you still have X-Plane 11 on your hard drive, just go to your, again, your X-Plane 11 resources plugins folder and copy it and then go over to your X-Plane 12 installation uh, here and go to Resources, Plugins, and just paste it right in. And then it should work with X-Plane 12. And I should have turned that magnifier off. Let's do that. Um, and so we're going to go start up a flight here and verify that it works in X-Plane 12. And now if you don't still have X-Plane 11 installed, there uh, I'm going to show you another way to get it. It's probably not worth installing X-Plane 11 just to run this installer and grab the plugin. Uh, again, if you've already deleted X-Plane 11, it's probably not worth installing that just to do this. So again, as soon as we do this, we're going to look at a different method for getting um, these panels working. Stand by just a moment. As, and so when it first starts up, um, we should it should synchronize with whatever we have dialed in for our radio frequencies and update accordingly. This works course with the radio switch and the multi-panel. I didn't want to hook uh, one of each of those up, of course. So here we've got our COM1 frequency and uh, yep, I can turn that. You can see it updating there on the screen and it should be updating on here. Yep. And then you have, you know, your active and standby frequency there. So that works. And if you go to the plugins menu and show plugins, this is it right here. X-Plane plugin 1.2.6.0. So let's get out of here and let's go with the second method. I'm going to go to resources and plugins in uh, my explain 12 folder. I'm just going to delete this plugin out of here like it never happened. So what we're going to do is I, I've downloaded a program called uh, X SciTech panels, which you can get from the org uh, forums. Again, it's called X SciTech panels. And there it is there by Sparker. And you download that, and um, it will show up, obviously, in your Downloads folder. So let's go to our Downloads folder. And here we have Excitec Panels, which is a zip file. And I'm going to choose Extract All. And it'll create a folder called the same thing, except without the .zip. Now, you don't want to use this folder here. You don't want to copy and paste that into your Xplains plugins folder. You want to go inside of here and grab X SciTech Panels and just copy it. And then we're going to go to our Xplain 12 Resources and Plugins folder. And I'm going to right click and paste it. So inside of um, Xplain 12, Resources Plugins, we've placed the X SciTech Panels folder. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So now let's fire up X Plane 12 
and see if it still works. Remember, we no longer have the Logitech plugin in there. I deleted that out, and we now have this X SciTech panels in there. There we go. And let's see what happens. Bear with the load. Now, when this loads up, what you should see on the radio panel is the current version of the plugin, which is 3.08. So that should show up on there. And it does. And then once we're in the plane, you should see the uh, frequencies update. Uh, older versions of this plugin, you had to actually turn this one click to get it to synchronize, but it appears they've eliminated that issue. Um, and now it just updates as soon as you're in the flight. All right, so we'll pull up the 530 here and turn these frequencies. Yep, they're working. There's the standby button, active standby button. And then if we go to the plugins menu, we see we have an X SciTech panels uh, right here in the plugins menu. And some other, I'm not going to go into this over here, but some other things in here. Um, so there you go. There are two methods to get the uh, radio switch and multi-panel working in X-Plane 12. Either copy it, the plug the Logitech plugin from your X-Plane 11 installation, or go download x SciTech panels from um, the org store. And there's actually a third way. Some people would say load spad.next, which uh, I, I don't really have a lot of experience with, but some people would say to do that as well.